Welcome back to the Mingo Live. This segment here is um, targeting parents of school age children, parents and guardians of school age children. Um, mental health is very important. And in this segment, we're going to talk about mental health and a symposium that's going to be dedicated to just that with uh, Dr. Maria Yeskes, mm -hmm. who is uh, a mental health specialist for CCISD. Welcome. Good to have you on Domingo Live. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here this morning. Tell us about the symposium. Yes. So we are having our free mental health symposium. It's HOPE. And it is going to be this Thursday, actually on May 18th at Carroll High School from 530 to 730. And we're actually co-hosting this event with Driscoll Children's Hospital, with NAMI, MHID, and also communities and schools. Everyone is invited to attend. It is not just parents, guardians, and students of CCISD. Every citizen of CCISD, of awesome. Corpus Christi, sure. is invited to come. We're going to have a variety of mental health presentations. Um, some of the topics are going to be how to talk to your child about mental health, suicide prevention, um, self-care, and even um, youth mental health uh, first aid as well. So we're having two different strands. We are going to have presentations uh, tailored toward those parents with younger children in elementary mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. and also presentations toward those parents and guardians with older students in middle school and in high school. We have over 40 community vendors will be there as well. And so they're going to have tables set up and they'll be able to give out information and resources to our parents. Student performances, which we're super excited to have. Our students can come and showcase their talents. Free food. So All Sonic, this in one day? I know. No, is possible? free food, Sonic <laughs> is donating hot dogs, communities and schools donating chips, we'll have drinks, and also free childcare. Awesome. So that way parents can come in and just focus 100% on those presentations and know that their children are being very well taken care of. And as you mentioned, it's not just for CCISD students. It is uh, for everyone, for anyone everyone. who wants to come and learn more about mental health and resources that are available in the community, please come, the more the merrier. And you know, nowadays, um, school kids are having a tough time. Many of them are having tough, uh, tough, difficult times in school, uh, maybe not even scholastically, but emotionally yeah. because of bullying. We know that exists, we know it's out there, we've done many stories, we've covered it on the news. Is that a topic that's gonna be discussed? We are, well, we are gonna talk about how to talk to your child about mental health and what is actually is we're super excited we actually have some students from collegiate high school they're going to be the presenters of that so they're going to talk about from a student's point of view this is what i want to hear this is how sure. i want mom and dad and my guardian to talk to me about to talk to me about mental health so we're really excited about that we're also going to have some um, professional speakers as well come and talk about how to talk to your child about mental health so definitely and self-care goes hand in hand with sure. that as well you know we are going to teach um, parents guardians and students how to take care of yourself. Give us some ideas uh, about that. Self-care is something that, you know, isn't really openly discussed. It isn't. Why is that? Because people think self-care is selfish, and it's not. Mm. It is actually a necessity if you are going to be the very best version of yourself. And so we're not talking about something extravagant, you know, a vacation. Of course, sure. that is self-care, but yes. if you can't afford it, something small. You know, we're at Mother's Day today, going out, getting nails done, going out and having some dinner with some friends, um, taking a nap, you know, something simple, whatever is going to bring joy in your life. Please do that so that you can be the best version of yourself. Sure, and that's what we're looking for through programs like the Mental Health Symposium that's happening on May 18th over at Carroll High School. Mm -hmm. um, how many folks can you get in there? For this event oh my goodness the more the merrier you know yeah. we have the food free food and everything set up for 300 people so we come on in if not you know more people come in we're just we'll make accommodations for them gladly and that's that's what we want to hear because we want folks as you mentioned from throughout the coastal bend that are invited for this they are everyone's invited so are you inviting any other uh, school districts uh, are you partnering yes. up with any of the others? we have yeah. actually invited all local school districts as well um, we have some very close connections to texas a&m kingsville mm -hmm. and so they they have wonderful connections, so I, we're telling them to blast this information out to everyone. So hopefully, and some of our co-hosts, NAMI has helped us, Driscoll Children's Hospital has helped us, MHID, they've all done some great social media blasts for us. So hopefully the word's out there and people come. Well, we know that this is a very sensitive topic. It is one that should be discussed uh, a little more than we do now, don't yeah. you think? I mean, this is something that obviously 
some parents have a difficult time addressing oh, yeah. with their young ones. Mental health education is so important. It brings awareness to mental health. It reduces the stigma that's associated around mental health as well. And when you're educated about mental health, you learn about the signs and symptoms of mental health conditions that could be impacting you or your loved ones. And once you know those signs and symptoms, you'll know when to intervene and to get help for either yourself or for your loved ones. And there are, and that's what this symposium is so wonderful about. There's going to be education, but also community vendors out there so you know who you can turn to sure. if your mental health is suffering or the mental health of your loved ones is suffering as sure. well. You're having the resources there to know where you can turn to exactly. if you need them. So that's a great thing. Um, anything else that we should address as far as how we can book or reserve a space? Where do we go? So our, we unfortunately our vendors were completely full. We maxed out at 45. Okay. Um, but there's just there's no registration process whatsoever. Just show up, and you don't have to be there the entire time either. If you want to come in, come to a couple of sessions. Wonderful. If you want to stay the entire time, please, you are more than happy to do so. And once again, the times. It's going to be so. It's this Thursday, mm -hmm. May 18th, Carroll High School, from 5:30 to 7:30 p.m. It's a relatively short period of time, it is. and you're gonna you're gonna. But we're gonna get it all in there. Yes, and if this is a success, you know, we want to see this event grow bigger and bigger. This is our first time sure. to do this, so we're kind of, you know, taking on a, sl a slower sure. scale right now. But if this is a success, you know, we can see this building into something beautiful. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Iescas, thank you so much for oh, being on Domingo Live. Thank you so much. And we certainly hope that you will come back and uh, let us know when you're going to have these on a more regular basis. I and not will. Just once oh, a year. definitely. And we would love to see this spread and get folks out there the attention and the help that they need if there is any way that we can help them, uh, especially when they have young children going to school. Expect, yes, we are here to help. We do appreciate definitely. your time. Mm -hmm. Very good. We'll be right back with more Domingo Live right after this. Stick around.